Hello, hello. Hi, class. Hello, what's up, Leo Poraya? Hello, hi, class. Hi, good evening. How are you today? How are you, Jose Samuel? Don't forget to have your cameras on, please. Ahí estamos. I can see Ingrid. Very, very good day. You're very good today. I can see Ingrid. Here we go. Hi. Hi. Hi, class. Aquí estamos. Hoy nos tocó de emergencia, emergencia cambiar de enlace, pero qué bueno que todos ya están viendo el mensaje en WhatsApp, se están uniendo, ¿ok? Very good job. Perdón la tardanza, tres minutos, nos tocó iniciar tarde, tuvimos que cambiar de cuenta de Zoom a las ocho en punto, pero aquí estamos, qué bueno. I'm so happy to see you. Very good class. Teacher, I changed the uh, la cuenta. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Very good. Don't forget to write your full name. Ahí puedo ver iPhone de Amilcar, si podemos cambiar eh, más adelante también el nombre completo. Mineducit, cambiamos al nombre completo. Para que no tengamos ese inconveniente, ¿ok? Recuerden que eh, la asistencia también se revisa por nombre completo. Y el uso de las cámaras encendidas también en todas las clases, ¿ok? No olvidemos, son eh, indicaciones que tenemos eh, de parte de inglés corporativo también y de Insafor. Entonces, si sí, no olvidemos, ok, gracias por encender sus cámaras siempre, por estar siempre a tiempo también. Vamos a aprovechar el tiempo, tres minutos, tres minutos, clase, gracias por unirse. Monday, Monday, week number three, ok, we are about to start with this week. Class number, uh, today is nine, class number nine. Don't forget that we are going to have this week to complete some activities related to section number four. Para esta semana nos corresponde la sección número cuatro. Sí espero que ya hayamos concluido con eh, la sección número uno, dos y tres, ¿ok? Uno, dos y tres. Que esas son las que teníamos como meta para la semana número uno y la semana número dos, ¿ok? Sí eh, he estado revisando. Recuerden que cada sección necesita tener el avance completo al 100%. No solo completar ciertos, eh, ciertas actividades de la sección, no, sino que darnos el tiempo de ir completando sección por sección. ¿Ok? Ya voy a ver eh, la revisión igual. ¿Cómo estamos ahorita en la sección 1, 2, 3? Hay algunos que igual me han estado solicitando ayuda. Hemos estado trabajando en eso. El viernes incluso estuve... Eh, trabajando con algunos de ustedes y este día. Así que cualquier consulta, ya saben, pregúntenme. Eh, igual, estoy tomando el tiempo para eh, ver qué sección están resolviendo y estar también pendiente de el progreso que llevan en cada uno de los ejercicios y el midterm exam, ¿ok? So, we're going to start with the class today. What day is it today? ¿Quién me puede decir? ¿Qué día estamos ahorita? Today is... Today is Monday 28th. Okay, Monday. March, uh -huh. Okay, we say Monday and then we say March. Monday, March 28th, 2022 or 2022. Okay. Wow, we are about Peter. to. Tell me, Amilka. Uh, I am going I am going to work. Uh, I can read the camera off and. Ah, okay, okay. Your camera up, okay. Yes. Eh, Amilcar tiene dos dispositivos, ¿verdad? O solo uno. Yo puedo ver dos. Eh, ahorita, ahorita acabo de conectar el de la compu para desconectarme del cel. Ah, vaya, perfecto, no hay problema. Gracias. Muy bien, ahí estamos. 
Bien. Let's start class. Empecemos ya. Lunes, recargados. ¿Cómo están esos ánimos? ¿Listos para aprender algo nuevo ahora? Yes or no? Yes, right? Yes. Yes, yes we are ready. Yes. yes, we are ready, teacher. Yes, we are. Thank you so much for joining this class. Let's see what we have. Veamos qué tenemos. Look. Section number four. Broccoli is good for you. That is the topic for this section. Broccoli is good for you. So it means that we are going to talk about food vocabulary. Vamos a tener ese tema. Es uno de los temas, okay? Food vocabulary. This is session number nine. And don't forget that this is my name, teacher Elena Argueta, okay? So broccoli is good for you. You can write it down in your notebook, okay? Very good job. So let's start the class. I'm going to, to check the attendance list. Check the attendance. Veamos quién está puntual, quién no, okay? Check the attendance list. Here we go. Ya chequearon, chicos, la plataforma. Tuvimos tiempo de chequear. Eh, déjenme ver, sección número cuatro, sí o no, todavía no. ¿Cómo estamos? Yes, teacher. Yes, you did. Very good. Hay algunos que ya van por la sección número cinco. Wow. Muy adelantados. Muy bien. So, don't worry. So, look. Here we are. Attendance list. Great. Se escucha su nombre. No olvide decir here or present. Here or present. Very good. Okay. Aquí estamos. Ya encontré mi lista. Bien. Empiezo con Amilcar. Amilcar Edgardo Hernández. Amilcar sí está por ahí, ¿verdad? Bernardo Antonio Herrera Díaz. ¿Es Bernardo en the class? I guess he's not, right? Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla Orantes. Present teacher. Carlos Manuel Ramos Cepeda. Present. Good. Carmen Lisset Santillana. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset López. Present teacher. Delmi Carolina Sosa. Present. Okay, there you are, Delmi. Excellent. Emma Jamilet Corea. I'm here. Okay. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Good. Gerson Antonio Hernández. I'm here. Ingrid Jamilet Arias. Present teacher. Irma Raquel García. Is Irma in the class? Ahí la puedo ver, Irma. Don't forget to have your camera on, Irma. Jaime Oswaldo Cortés. Present. Excellent. Jose Samuel Rodríguez. Present teacher. Juliana Bergeli Martínez. Present teacher. Karen Yvette Callejas. Present. Catherine Abigail García. Catherine Alicia Martínez. No. Ok. Katia Elizabeth Serrano. Present teacher. Very good. Kelly Magdalena Rivera. Present. Marina del Carmen Menéndez. Present. Okay. 
Marvin Raimundo Pinto. Present. Nereida Patricia González. Present. Stacy Nicole Rivera. Wendy del Carmen González. Present. Okay. Jancy Andrea Meléndez. Present. And Zaira Jamilet Figueroa. Present. ¿Alguien que no haya mencionado o que se unió después de, de empezar la lista? O todos estamos, todos los que estamos presentes, se les mencionó. ¿Sí? Ok, so let's start. We are going to visit the platform right now. Veamos que tenemos en la plataforma. Section number four. ¿Cómo se llama la section number four? Broccoli. It's good for you. Do you like broccoli, class? Do you like broccoli? I love the broccoli. You love yes. broccoli, right? And mostly oh, in yes. Chinese food. When you have it in Chinese food, wow, it's delicious. Broccoli is delicious, right? So broccoli is good for you. It is. It is good for you, okay? Veamos. Katia, ah, okay, Katia, gracias por escribirme, Katia. No, no hay problema. Veamos, broccoli is good for you. Aquí vamos. Let's see what we have. Let's watch this video. Veamos este primer video. Para esta clase tenemos dos videos. Okay, so this is the first one. It's about vocabulary. Vocabulary, okay? So, let's make it bigger. Let's click on play, and here we go. Return to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary. Sí, se puede escuchar. Hi everyone. In this yes. class, you yes. learn vocabulary related yes. to the food pyramid. Okay. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Okay. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts, Chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, Broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers, and think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, 
uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, it's the time for practicing, practicing. So vocabulary, wow, that's a lot of vocabulary that we have. And look, I have it bigger here. I don't know if you can see it bigger. Ya está un poco más grande. Tenemos many sections. ¿Cuáles secciones distinguen ustedes en food pyramid? Food pyramid. The one that is in pink. Bueno, yo la veo rosa. No sé si ustedes la ven rojo. But the first section. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sección es? Fat. Oil. oil and sugar. And, and sugar. Oh, sugar. Exactly. Fat, oil, and sugar. And you mentioned what we have there. ¿Qué tenemos ahí? The examples that we have. Cream. 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 Butter. Butter. Potato chips. Potato chips. Candy. Candy. And candy. Okay. So cream, butter, candy, oil, and potato chips. Any word? that you need me to explain, or is it clear? Distinguimos todas las palabras o alguna que necesitemos explicar? No, it's clear. Distinguen. Which one? Yes? Or is it clear? Si está claro el vocabulario cream, what is cream? Cream, yes, butter is... But what is butter? Butter? Mantequilla. 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 Yeah, very good. Mantequilla. Mantequilla. You can have some butter and ¿a dónde ponemos butter? Para cocinar usamos bastante butter. And the candy. Bread. And the, uh, exactly, with bread, with some bread. Oil is the one that we use for cooking, okay? And potato chips. Potato chips, okay? Then we have the second uh, part of the food pyramid. ¿Cuál sería la segunda? Column, ¿ok? Which is the one? Meat and other and protein. Other protein. Meat and other protein. Or dairy. Dairy. We have two, two columns, right? Dos partes. Fish. Beans. Nuts. Chicken. Eggs. And beef. Dairy. What is the meaning of dairy? Do you know dairy? Lactose. Cheese. Lactose. Mm -hmm. Please don't confuse it. Hay algunos que me lo confunden con diario. Mm -mm. Dairy. It means all of these ones. For example, milk, yogurt, cheese. Exactamente. Lácteos. Lácteos. Dairy. Milk, yogurt, dairy. and cheese. You go to the supermarket to get dairy products. Uh -huh. Serían los derivados de la leche. De la leche, oh. muy bien. ¿Al ¿Alguno más que nos haga falta ahí que sería un dairy product? ¿Qué otro puede mencionar? Ok, cream. What cream is not there? Uh -huh. ¿Y por qué cream lo tenemos arriba? En fact, oil and sugar. Está en las grasas. Uh -huh, está en las grasas. Y no está acá en dairy. Why? Interesting, right? It's a grass. <laughs> okay, great answer. Then we have fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables. Take a look at the vocabulary related to fruit. Bananas, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, in apples. These are some examples, okay? Recuerden que son algunos ejemplos nada más. Very good. And we also have vegetables, broccoli, tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, and lettuce. Don't forget that broccoli is good for you. That is the topic for this section. And at the end we have grains okay 
for example, we have bread and cereal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bread and cereal. Cracker. Do you know what is the meaning of cracker? What is a cracker? Galletas saladas. Exactly. Exactly. That's the difference between cookies and crackers. Crackers are salad. And cookies, we can say that are the ones that are sweet. Mm -hmm. sweet. sweet. Muy bien. Las crackers son las galletas saladas. Muy bien, clase. Esa es la diferencia. Then we have rice, noodles, and pasta. Rice, noodles, and pasta. Pronunciation. Palabras que tengamos que repetir la pronunciación, clase, o todas están claras. Yo tengo una duda. ¿Qué significa nut and meat and other protein? Meat. Meat. Nuts. Nuts. Ah, exactly. Nuts. Look at the example. Son unas semillas, unas semillitas. Nuts. No. ¿Quién sabe qué son las nuts? Nueces. Uh -huh. Exactly. Um, las que dicen, las que comen las ardillas. ¿Han visto? Uh, <laughs> nuts. Mm, esas son unas semillas. Aquí hacen falta otras semillas también, pero ese es un ejemplo de nuts, de semillas. ¿Qué otro? ¿Any other? ¿Otro que nos cuesta la pronunciación? Yes, no. If, If not, noodles. Noodles. Yes, this one. Noodles. Yes, noodles. noodles. What is the meaning of noodles, class? Spaghetti. <laughs> Pasta. Pasta. Macarrones. It's like a synonym. Mm -hmm. Macarrones. Fideos. Fideos. Ahí estamos. Esa es la palabra que quería encontrar. Fideos. Noodles, or we can say pasta, or we can say. ¿Qué otro mencionaron? Spaghetti. Um, exactly. That's okay. That's okay if you call it in those three ways. Very good. So, these are some examples for the food pyramid. Pyramid. Okay. Food pyramid. Okay. And what is the advice? Hay un pequeño consejo que en esta parte de arriba y que dice. For good health, who can read it? Mm -hmm. For good health, eat, health. eat a lot of grain, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fast, oil, oil and, and, sugar. and sugar. Exactly. Don't forget that you need to eat very little fat. Oil and sugar. Wow, como nos gusta el azúcar, verdad? That's very normal, but don't forget this advice. So, this is some vocabulary, and we are going to use this food vocabulary. No? As you can see, to express likes and dislikes. Likes and dislikes. For example, I have some examples of food that I like and food that I don't like. I like rice, potato chips, and carrots. I don't like fish, cheese, and bananas. How about you, class? What do you like and what you don't like? Let's start with likes, okay? Que le gusta? Empecemos con gusto. Que si le gusta comer de la food pyramid? Let me see, let me have Carmen Guadalupe. What are your likes? What do you like to eat? Tell me three examples of likes. Que si le gusta comer Carmen Guadalupe. Yes. Can you listen to me, Carmen Guadalupe Camilla? Yes or no? I guess she can. Ahí está, ahí estamos. Likes and don't likes. Que se nos gusta y que no. Le voy a poner la imagen. Let me play it. I like rice, I like potato chips, and I like carrots. And you, Carmen? What do you like and what you don't like?
Teacher, no sé si es solo a mí, pero no lo escucho, disculpe. ¿Clase? ¿Se escucha o no? Yeah. Sí, se escucha. Yes. Ah, yes. bueno, veamos yes. qué puede hacer entonces. Veamos con Jancy. What are your likes and dislikes? I like, I don't sí. like. Uh -huh. I like potato chips. Okay, I great. like tomato. Uh -huh. I love pasta. And I don't like, I don't know, but beetroot. I don't like that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And I don't like. ¿Cómo se dice zapote? How do you say zapote? You got me in that one. Eso sí la tengo que buscar, zapote. Do you know class? I, I, I don't have ideas. Soy honesta. Zapote, okay. Let me look for it. Zapodía, <laughs> No, let me look. I'm being quite honest. Zapote, ya la busco, okay? But excellent examples. Carlos Manuel, tell me about your likes and dislikes. I like, I don't like. Go. I like fish, okay. mm, beef, Very good. and candy, but candy. I don't like mm, broccoli uh, and um, crack, crackers. crackers. Crackers, okay, excellent. Excellent examples. Jaime, tell me about your likes and dislikes. I uh, like fish and uh, beef and potato chips. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Potato chips. Nereida. I don't like. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. Continue, Jaime. Continue. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't. I don't like. Uh, um, candy. Candies, okay. Only that. Only, only, see. Sí. Very good. Nereida, tell me one example of your likes and one of things that you don't like. Okay. I like lettuce, candy, fish, apple, potato chips, and chicken. I don't like bananas, pasta, and age. Okay. Apples. Apples. Don't forget that is apples. Apples. Very good. How about Marina? Tell me your likes and dislikes, Marina. I like broccoli, in candy, in mangoes. In mangoes, right? But but I don't I don't like um carrot. Okay, carrot. Um, just that. Very good job. So, can we make sentences? Yes, we can. Let's move to the next one. Let's make sentences. I like, I don't like. So, let's take this example. Carmen Lisette. Veamos los ejemplos de Carmen Lisette. Go, Carmen Lisette. I like. I like. Mm, milk. I Meal. like cheese, I like fish, I like apples, okay. I don't like carrots and little. And noodles. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's write some examples. So I like, I do not like. Noodles, noodles, excellent, noodles. So look at my example. I like milk, comma, cheese, and apple. I like carrots, but I don't like noodles. In the primer ejemplo, si se fijan, yo hice una lista. Milk, cheese, and apples. Podemos hacer lista, ¿ok? ¿Qué cosas sí me gustan? Solo voy poniendo una coma. En el segundo ejemplo, 
Solo puse un ejemplo de cada uno. I like carrots, but I don't like noodles. Podríamos hacer lo mismo, enlistar todas las cosas que nos guste. Luego decimos, but I don't like noodles, fish, bananas, and cheese. No olvidemos que siempre que estamos haciendo una lista, la última opción siempre va a ir antes, la palabra and. Uh -huh. Y para ir enlistando cada una, tiene que ir eh, separada por una coma. Eso sí es que estamos haciendo una lista. En el caso de que solo estoy mencionando uno de cada uno, mira. No necesito and. Aquí estoy usando esto. But, pero. No me, no me gustan los fideos. But I don't like noodles. I like, I don't like. I like, I don't like. So, what are we going to do, class? Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Five minutes. Quiero que discutan en grupos sus likes and dislikes. Likes and dislikes, ¿ok? Usando la primera opción, enlistar, enlistemos, ¿ok? Por lo menos dos de cada uno, de likes and dislikes. Y tratemos también de escribir un ejemplo usando la expresión but, pero no me gusta los noodles. Ese es mi ejemplo, ¿ok? Si ¿Sí está claro lo que vamos a hacer, ¿es clear? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very yes. good. So, yes, I like, I don't like. I like, I don't like. Okay? Here we go. Les envío el ejemplo a WhatsApp. Here we go. Mientras tanto, nos unimos en grupo. This is for you to practice. Don't yeah. forget to say hi to your classmates. Okay? Here we go. Let me see, cuatro grupos voy a crear. Vamos. Joint. Go class. I like, I don't like. Here we go. Very good. Don't forget to use the expressions I like, I don't like. Okay, that is the exercise or the first exercise for today. Here we go. Let me go to WhatsApp and I'm still missing Amilcar, Delmi, and please, Galaxy, try to change it. Cambiamos ese nombre, okay? Para que tengamos, que no tengamos problemas en la asistencia. Muy bien, clase. I like, I don't like. ¿Delmi pudo unirse, Delmi? Okay, I'm having problems with WhatsApp. Pero se los muestro otra vez, okay? WhatsApp, no me está dejando enviarlo, okay? But look, esto es lo que vamos a hacer. I like, I don't like. I like, I don't like. This is example. Go, go class, discussion. También quiero que practiquen speaking. I like, I don't like, okay? Go. Okay, uh, I am the first. Uh, I like, um, I like potato chips, apples, bread, and butter. But okay. I don't like uh, tomatoes, strawberries, and egg. 
Okay, apples, apples. Apples. Very good. Okay, who's next? Katia, choose somebody. ¿Quién sigue? Carlos Manuel. Okay. I like No se le escucha. Sorry. I like fish, chicken, beef, and, and milk. I don't like um, la, I don't like crackers uh, and broccoli. Elijo el siguiente verso. Yes, please. Uh, a Marvin. Okay. I like cheese. Don't forget to use I like, I don't like. I have problems with WhatsApp. Hasta ahorita puedo enviarlo clase. Vamos, I like, I don't like. Quiero escucharlos. Go. Yes. Yo, go. I like mango, broccoli, and fish. And I like potato chips, but I don't like candy. Who's next? Marina, tell me one of your classmates' names so they can continue. In este caso, ¿cómo le preguntaría? Um, what are your likes and dislikes? Uh, Gabriela, what are your likes and dislikes? Very good. I like uh, apples, uh, strawberry, uh, potatoes, mm, but I don't like uh, sugar, uh, brands, and some. <laughs> Excellent. Gabriela, yogurt. Yogurt. Es la intonación diferente. Español, yogurt. Inglés, yogurt. Yogurt. It goes up. So, excellent. Continue, girls. You're doing a great job. Me, ¿cómo puedo diferenciar el pan de caja y el pan francés? Hay que buscarlo en... Sí, hay, hay forma. Pan de caja en francés. Ahorita, ahorita. Bueno. <laughs> ok, who's next? I want to listen to you. Yes. In Ingrid, again, what do you like? Yes, I want to listen one, one of you. Okay. I like potato chips, beef, yogurt, white melon, and grapes. But I don't like milk, fish, and tomatoes. Okay, great pronunciation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Who else? Me. I like potatoes. I like... Pasta. pasta, I like potato cheese, I like cookies, I like ice cream, I like pizza, I like pupusas, I like <laughs> <laughs> I like burger. Okay, you like everything from the food pyramid. That's okay, that's cool. Oh. Eso es todo bueno. Me encanta, me encanta clase. Keep on practicing. You're doing a great job. Ya vamos con el vocabulario. Okay, Jancy, muy bien por preguntar. Me encanta. Ahorita. Continue. El bat va ahí. Okay. Continue. I like fish, 
but I don't like meat. I like uh, apple, strawberry, and orange. I don't I don't like uh, broccoli and potato. I like chicken, but do not like um, beef. Okay, great pronunciation. Who's next? I like I, I, like. I like banana, meat, and some berry and cheese. I like broccoli. I don't like but I don't like fish. You don't ¿Cómo like se mariscos en general? Mariscos en general. Todos los mariscos o uno en específico? No, solo el nombre marisco, la palabra marisco. La palabra marisco, está ahorita. Igual, me estaban consultando, como decimos, pan de caja. Mariscos en general sería comida seafood, como sí, si del mar, del océano, y luego food. Como si. comida del mar. Ajá, algo así mm. sería la traducción. Seafood, mariscos, seafood. Mm. Uh -huh. Muy bien, clase, eso es bueno que agreguemos más vocabulario. Extra vocabulary, extra vocabulary. Very good job. So let's go back. Ya volvemos. Here we go. Hi, Ingrid. ¿Qué pasó, Ingrid? No puedo entrar al grupo. Sí, teacher, estoy desde los dos dispositivos. Es que tuve un problema con mi otra computadora. Ok, don't worry. Yo, ¿qué pasó con Ingrid en Amilcar? But your classmates, ya vienen tus compañeros. Ok, don't worry. Likes and dislikes. Likes and dislikes. Here we go. Did you have the time for practice in class? Did you practice with your classmates? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, you did. Yes. Likes and dislikes. Yes. Okay, let me have two volunteers, one girl and one boy. Now, volunteers, to tell me about likes and dislikes. Yes, likes and dislikes. Wow, class, only two volunteers. Me sorprende, ahí estamos. Katia, thank you, go. Tell your classmates about likes and dislikes in food. And then Herson, por el más rápido, go. Katia first and then Herson, okay? Sorry. Don't worry. Uh, I like um, cream, butter, bread, and carrots. Okay. And I don't like eggs, nuts, and yogurt. And yogurt. Very good. How about Herson? I like banana, orange, strawberry, and lemon. Uh -huh. I like fresh fish. But Ando, I don't like meat. You don't like meat. Okay, very good. How about, uh, let me ask, Wendy del Carmen. Um, okay, I like potatoes, um, milk, carrots, and lemon. Oh, okay. I don't like fish. You don't like fish. Okay, class. Is it clear the usage of like and dislike? ¿Cómo estamos con el uso de like and dislike? ¿Está claro cómo lo usamos? Yes or no? Yes, yes teacher. Sí. Piense que no es nada eh, difícil. Es para expresar gustos y cosas que no nos gustan. En este caso, sobre comida. Likes and dislikes. Okay, likes and dislikes. So, que si queremos hablar de alguien más. Ya dimos nuestra información personal. Veamos de alguien más. He or she doesn't like carrots. 
Miren, cuando hablamos ya de una tercera persona, ya no usamos don't. Vamos a usar doesn't. So, acuérdense con he, con she, and it. We are going to use doesn't. Esto es en el caso de negativo. Cuando tengamos el afirmativo, sería en este caso, miren, likes. Very good. Like and doesn't like. Para la tercera persona. Que si tenemos I, you, we, and they. ¿Qué usaríamos? Don't. Don't. Muy bien. Lo mismo que hicimos con nuestra opinión, con I. I don't like. I, you, we, and they. Vamos a usar. Like carrots. Negative. Don't like. Don't like. Okay. Don't like. Pregunta sobre esto, clase. Yes, sir, no. O si estamos claros. Sí. Ya no me cabe la palabra. Creo que sí. Carrots. Pero si no, ya saben que es carrots. ¿Qué? Okay? Carrots. Carrots. Here we go. Aquí está el ejemplo. Muy bien. Misma regla siempre para la tercera persona. Vamos a usar el auxiliar doesn't para negative. En for affirmative, likes. S para el verbo like, likes. Ok. Bien. So that is the first topic. Les dije, ese fue uno de los primeros temas. También tenemos, if we go to the platform, second video. We have the second video. We still have time. It's a very short video. Si no terminamos, Mañana lo concluimos, pero sí es necesario para que puedan ya completar la primer parte de la sección número 4. Ok. Here we go. Vocabulary related to food. And we are going to have this video about some and any. Algo que también necesitamos usar cuando hablamos de comida. Some and any. Some and any. Here we go. Some and any are used. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled "How about some sandwiches," which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's listen and practice. Let's listen. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of... Let's buy some potato salad. Let me go back, okay. Ya les dije, si no terminamos, mañana concluimos. Don't worry. Can you identify food? ¿Qué comida vemos en este ejemplo? In the conversation. We have salad. Salad. Sandwich. 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 Ah, ok. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Cheese. Chicken. Chicken. Bread. 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 Lemon. Potato Lemon. salad. Cheese. Potato salad. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lemonade. 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 Potato, cheese. Cheese. cheese, cheese, aquí voy, muy bien, después cheese. dejamos, ah, drinks, esta es una categoría en general, drinks, bebidas, bebidas. yes, lemonade, lemonade. 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 bien, lemonade, and potato, potato salad, potato, potato salad. salad, and the last one, the same, right, potato salad, so look, si se fijan, subrayé, no solo, el nombre de la comida, también la expresión, some sandwiches, some chicken, 
any bread, any cheese, any drinks, some lemonade, some potato salad, and potato salad. Very good. Here we go. Why? Veamos por qué seleccioné esto. Here we go. Let's continue with the video. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Okay, let me switch. ¿Qué estamos viendo? In English, we have two types of nouns. Si se fijaron en el video, decía eso. Countable and non-countable nouns, los que podemos contar y los que no podemos contar, ¿ok? Los que podemos contar y los que no. En este caso, como estamos hablando de comida, hay ciertas comidas that we can count and there are some other that we can not count. Hay algunas que sí podemos contar y otras que mm -mm, we can not, we can not count. So, for example, can you mention some of the food? ¿Qué comidas podemos contar y qué otras no podemos contar? For example, non-countables, liquids. We cannot rice. count liquids. Liquids, rice. Yes, any other example? Bread. Beans. Cheese. Cheese. Beans. Cheese. Beans. Cream. Mm -hmm. Cereal. Mm -hmm. Did you say cereal? I'm sorry, it's Jose Samuel. Pasta. Cream. Okay, pasta. Cream. 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 Okay, cream. Sugar. And Larry. <laughs> okay, and we have a lot of examples, right? How about things that we can count? Lo que sí eggs. podemos contar. Eggs. eggs One tomatoes. egg. Two eggs. Very good. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Exactly. Uh, potatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, potatoes. Cucumber. Apples. Oranges. Apples. Cucumbers. Mangoes. Yes, mangoes. <laughs> do mangoes. you like mangoes? I do. I love mangoes. <laughs> Mango. Mm -hmm. Any other apples you say? Carrots. Strawberries. Carrots, strawberries. We have a lot of vocabulary. Banana. No? Cookies. Bananas. Cookies. cookies. Yes, one cookies. cookie, two cookies. Very good. Mm -hmm. Crackers. One cracker, two crackers. Yes, we can. 
So these are some examples about countables and non-countables, things that we can count and things that we cannot count in English, okay? And this is related to food, cosas que sí podemos contar y que no. Por ejemplo, en inglés, los liquids, como les dije, water, eh, coffee, milk, and all tea. of those, Ajá, tea, we cannot count it. Pero qué sí podemos contar, en este caso, cuando son líquidos, no contamos en sí el líquido, pero contamos tal vez una Amelita. botella de, decimos a, una botella. A cup. A, 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 una botella, un vaso. una taza, una yeah. cup, a glass, un vaso, muy bien. Teacher, con el pollo, ¿cómo sería? Sí se puede contar. ¿Qué opinan ustedes, clases? ¿Can we count chicken or not? Chicken. Yes. Yes, we can. Of course pollo. we can. Yes. Pollo. Uh -huh. can. Podemos contar. Eh, con Las la carne. También. La carne. What is your opinion, class? ¿Can we count meat or not? One piece sería. Ah, one piece or a slice. Yes. Ah. It's Pero nice. habría que agregar este. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Sería no countables. Cuando si a los no countables queremos convertirlos en contables, tenemos que agregar una expresión, ¿ok? Una pieza, una rebanada, para que ya se conviertan en contables. De otra forma, no pueden ser contables. So, countable en non countables, ok. En this case, las primeras tres expresiones son para líquidos, a slice, a piece. Esos pueden ser para carnes, para el pan también. Bread, exactly. So, cereal. Para el cereal también podríamos usar a cup. A cup of rice. Una taza de arroz. A cup of rice. A cup of beans. Uh -huh. Miss, in the cake, is countable or uncountable? Okay, so a piece of cake. Mm, si decimos a piece of cake, sí es contable. Pero si decimos cake, en general, mm -mm, it's not countable. No. Una pieza de pastel, sí. Pero, teacher, podríamos decir a, a pastel, o sea, a cake, o sea, un cake. Mm, pero, si se fijan, estamos agregando la expresión a. A cake. Okay. Ahí sí es contable. Ah, pero solo la palabra en sí, cake, is not. Si sí está claro que podemos convertirlo en contable y no contable, yes or not. Yeah. No, no, yeah. cake. cake, en general. Palabra en general. ¿Dónde lo pondríamos? ¿En contable o no contable? En medio. En medio. <ríe> no, no. Solo hay dos. Contable y non contable. No podemos ponerlo en medio. Uncountable. Uncountable. Pero si lo queremos hacer contable, agregamos la expresión a piece, a slice o simplemente a, porque esa a palabra, cake. ese artículo a, ya nos indica que es uno, a cake, a cake. Ok. Questions about this one: countable and non countable. Nouns, countables and non countables now. Let's do something. Let me see. Let's go back. Tell me. But butter is uncountable, right? Butter. What do you think, class? Butter. La mantequilla. The same. No se cuenta, pero si la queremos hacer contable, agreguemos una expresión. Okay. Okay. Butter, butter, very good. That is like the clue. So let me see, let me go back. Veamos. We still have one minute. Un minuto más para recuperar lo que perdimos al inicio. One minute. Let's look at this one. Let's go back to the food pyramid. Veamos. Ejemplo de countables and non countables. Oil. Countable or non countable. Oil. Uncountable. Very good. Milk. Milk. Uncountable. Strawberries. Countable. Uncountable. Ah, bien, bien. Podemos contarlo. 
broccoli. Bien. Si lo agarramos completo. <laughs> ok. Pasta. Pasta. No lo podemos contar. Yogurt. Potato chips. No. No contable. Pero ¿qué podemos contar? La bolsa de potato chips. Ahí sí la podemos contar. A bag of potato. En de potato. Pero cuando decimos chips, ahí sí ya no podemos contar. Um, Quizás sí, pero no. Pero aún en general, potato chips. Beef. Beef. Can we count beef or not? We cannot, right? So, countable and non countable. We are going to, exactly. We are going to continue with the same, you know, next class, okay? With countables and non countables, okay? Please don't forget to check the video in the platform. Go and check the video right now, okay? And practice the vocabulary. We are going to meet tomorrow, okay? Thank you so much for joining class. See you. Mañana con el otro enlace, okay? Solo esta clase fue eh, porque tuvimos problemas, okay? Gracias, chicos. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.